Hello guys, this is Kishan and today we are going to discuss about dynamic queries or dynamic SQL in Oracle. So to understand this dynamic SQL, uh, I'll just show, uh, show you the need for this dynamic SQL and how to use it with execute immediate. Now as we all know, in a PLSQL block, or in a procedure or a function all we can execute are DML statement DML statements are like update insert delete select merge and such kind of what we cannot execute is we cannot create a table or a sequence or something like that in a PLSQL block or a function or a procedure we cannot alter the definition we cannot drop we cannot truncate so now what if there is a requirement then that you need to create a table at runtime or you need to create a sequence at runtime uh, in that case what can we do I'll just show you the limitation first of all with an example and then I'll show you how dynamic SQL helps us to overcome that limitation say suppose I have a um, simple procedure so I'll write create or replace procedure p generate sequence all I'll do is I'll generate a simple sequence is begin end now in this uh, procedure I want to generate a sequence uh, and the name of the sequence is given at runtime. And also the start variable is given runtime. And also the increment by variable is given at runtime. So what I have to do is I have to create a sequence based on this input parameters. What are mentioned over here. But whenever you try to create a sequence, say suppose any sequence, let me uh, create a sequence called as p underscore seq. Let me start, start with 1 and increment by 1. When you create a sequence, when executed, it gives an error. It says encountered the symbol create when expecting one of the following. What it says is, I don't understand a create inside the PLS inside the procedure. What are you doing? This is wrong. This is what Oracle is telling us. That I don't understand create inside a PLSQL block. So now, so as you can see, you cannot create a sequence inside this. So now, what if such a, there is such a requirement that you need to execute such DDLs inside a PLSQL block or a procedure or function? We can use something called as execute immediate when you write something in execute immediate over here oracle will treat it not as a part of this function or a procedure and would allow that ddl statement to be executed so if i want to create a sequence first of all i'll take a variable any variable i'll take sql statement i'll give a length of around 300 so what I'll do is I'll first of all dynamically try and create this SQL, uh, SQL statement of this create sequence and then I will pass this uh, variable value to execute immediate. So that execute immediate will execute my statement and that statement is of a sequence generation. So that will happen. So what I'll do is I'll just write the statement that I want to create over here. So what I want is create sequence sequence name is an input so I'll just append what I want over here the sequence name whatever is passed create sequence sequence name next is start with In the variable I want to start with whatever is the give a given input so start with an increment by I want increment by whatever is given in the input in the input parameter so as you can see i have created a statement such as 
create sequence sequence name start with variable increment by the uh, variable given i have missed a concatenating sign over here so before executing it i'll just see how it looks so i'll just put it inside a dbms output and just see what kind of a statement is being created when i am executing this so i created this function in hr schema there are no errors now i'll execute it it will just whatever uh, it will just create and create sequence statement and put it in a variable and i'll just print that variable currently i'm not passing it to the execute immediate and executing it i just want to see how it has been created so i'll pass this gen sequence um i want name of the sequence to be demo underscore sequence i want to start it with 100 and i want to increment it every time by 10 so what it gives is it says error starting at line 12 what i missed is i missed exec you need to write exec before executing any procedure so here as we can see there is a create statement sequence generated through it create sequence sequence name start with 100 increment by 10 so now what i'll do is i'll just update my procedure and put 10 execute immediate into this execute immediate this sql statement see as you can see i have not inserted any semicolon in this uh, create sequence statement so whenever you are uh, you are have execute you are going to execute an sql statement never put a semicolon but if you are executing a plsql block at runtime do put a semicolon so what i have given is i have just passed that variable in which i have stored this create sequence to the execute immediate and now i will execute this it says the procedure is compiled so now when i go and check in my sequences i have a sequence called as let's refresh it i have a sequence I have just compiled the procedure and now when I want to execute this procedure I just miss that block where I have written execute executing of that procedure I have to just write it again exec procedure name and I will pass the appropriate variables I want the sequence name as demo underscore sequence I want to start it with 100 and I want to increment it by 10. So when I execute it, it says NMS block completed and also it, the DBMS output has printed whatever I have put in DBMS output. Now when you come here and see in your sequence, you have your demo underscore sequence present here. So it has created this sequence. So I just kept it in an SQL statement and kept an execute immediate and the is, uh, sequence is created now there's no really a need to put this sequence into a variable and then execute it you can even directly put your whatever the statement it is directly in with execute immediate and work it out but it is good if you can you know put into variable first and check how it is creating because this is quite a simple one you might be uh, facing scenarios which are much more complicated so this is the basic use of execute immediate through which you can runtime create uh, create alter you know modify do such ddls inside the plsql block now say suppose you have created this sequence and now you want to increment this sequence through execute immediate and you it will return you a value and you want to store that value or work around with that value so what you can do is over here the sequence has been created after the sequence is created say suppose you want to do something like you want to increment the sequence and whatever you get the incremented value you want to put it into a variable and i'll just print it on the screen 
you know we might use it in our other complex code but I'll just print the simple thing on the screen so what I will do is now the sequence is there so there's no need for me to create the sequence again though I can keep it that way so when execute immediate I'll just write one more SQL statement I will declare that over here I'll be incrementing the value what I want to show you is how you can pass that value generated through us generated through any SQL statement into a variable using execute immediate so that is what I'm doing over here I'll just increment the sequence that I'm creating that is like select whatever sequence I have created that is the sequence name PSQ sequence name the other thing is dot next well from dual so this is my other statement now when this increment happens as we know like in my previous uh, thing I created this demo underscore sequence so when we do demo underscore sequence dot next well from dual the sequence will be incremented it gives me 100 next time 110 because I have uh, kept the increasing value as 10 so what I want to do I want to do that same next well thing here and whatever is coming out of that sequence uh, execution I want it to print into a variable I will create a variable called as p value with number as data type so I put this output whatever the output I get through this select sequence name dot next well from dual I'll put it into this p value and I'll just print this p value on the screen I'll just create the, put it on screen and I'll even print out this SQL state statement one also so that we can come to know what is the statement that is executed so very simple thing that I have done first I showed you how to use execute immediate and you know generate uh, or run any DDL now I am what I am trying to show you is when you have such a uh, DDL or DML statement that execution of which is returning you a value and you want to use that value further in your code how you can use this execute immediate SQL statement into variable uh, option and then store that uh, output of the query into a variable so I'll just execute this as you can see the procedure is compiled I'll create another sequence demo sequence underscore one I'll start it with 600 increment by 10 when I execute it as you can see first of all the sequence is created here that is by this execution which we have seen before then I have incremented the sequence by doing next 12 that is this statement over here and then I have just printed the next value that is generated by this statement so I have executed the statement got an output put it into a variable and displayed it out now so you there might be a need where you you have a business logic where after incrementing something or you know getting any value or selecting any value now you want to use it further in your code so using this into variable you can do do that now that the there are two concept of execute immediate that we have seen simple execution and putting into a variable now one more thing that I wanted to show you is I'll just take a PLSQL enormous block I'll just take a fresh page <coughs> say suppose I am in the Scott schema and I have the department table just to you know change little things up I have a table called as DPT now I have three things over here department number name and location say suppose at runtime I want to insert department number name and location using execute immediate now what we can do over here is I'll just do uh, if if you want to insert anything into this uh, uh, variable simply you can do as insert into dpt and you can put values but the things like if you don't know what table you are going to use at runtime 
what you can do is you can use our execute immediate and get this uh, table name runtime into a procedure or something and then pass it to the statement and then execute the statement using execute immediate so such a way you can use insert statements also so we can do create we can do update insert delete truncate drop all of them using in execute immediate now i'll just show you one more example what i'll do is i'll update some data i'll select this i'll update the table data in this emp table so in emp table for department number 10 i'll make all salaries as 500 using execute immediate so i'll just write a simple plsql block so i have shown you in a procedure now i'm showing in a plsql block what i can do is as i told you you can simply write something like execute immediate and the statement i just show you how how we can do like this also i just write update say suppose i don't know the table name it is past runtime uh, i have a variable called as p table which is where here 230 size and the value that i have over here is emp okay and now i'll create my sql statement that is update table name i'll put set salary column is equal to i want to pass a runtime variable say suppose b so where department number is equal to again i want to use a runtime variable say i name it c so there is no need for you to name it differently we can simply use the variable b itself two times because what will happen is when you will do an execute immediate uh, and you have runtime variables you have to pass value of this runtime variables by this using clause now using b is my value say suppose i want to make salary of every thousand is sixty thousand and other thing what i want to do is department number what i'm doing is i'm just substituting some value for this runtime variable b and c so for b i am substituting sixty thousand and for c i am substituting ten now what happens is oracle will just take it sequentially like first runtime variable first value second runtime variable second value even if you have just b over here it doesn't care it will take first runtime variable this value and second with this one so as we can see i just written an execute immediate update statement update table name set salary is equal to 6000 where department number is equal to 10 and i'll just execute this what it says is it says department number is an invalid identifier so that meaning it is written differently in the table i'll just see how it is it is dpd number i have written department number over here so as you can see what happened is when it executes over here i didn't get any error it didn't show any red underline otherwise if you were if you would be in a procedure and if you would have written this variable in a wrong way it would not let you compile it would say column not found but over here as you can see it is in a SQL it is in a string or in a where care format it is a you know uh, a statement it will not be these column names the syntax check semantics checks are not done at uh, syntax check of course will be done at runtime but you can make a syntax mistake inside this execute immediate statement that won't be checked that will only be checked at runtime so the syntax and semantics checks for execute immediate statements are not done at compile time but at runtime so that is what we came to know about this through this now what i'm doing is it is a dpt number i'll just simply execute it it says anonymous block completed let me just see the data so as you can see the salary is updated to 60000 so this is the third thing that i wanted to show that is the using clause so we have seen the simple execute immediate then we have seen execute immediate with into clause and now execute immediate with using clause